Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to go through an example of how to complete the square on a quadratic relationship to turn it from standard form into vertex form. So, we have y is equal to negative 3x squared plus 12x minus 7. This is a quadratic relation in, uh, in standard form, okay? And we're going to complete the square, get it into vertex form. So, first thing that we're going to want to do. Uh, I want you to notice that the x squared term has a coefficient of negative 3. And what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to pull out that coefficient, the negative 3. But I'm going to do it from the first two terms, so the negative 3x squared and the plus 12x. So I'm going to common factor a negative 3 from those first two terms, and we're going to get this. y is equal to negative 3 times x squared time, uh, minus 4x minus 7, right? The idea is if I expanded the negative 3 back into those sets of brackets, I'd get my first line again, okay? But I, I want to keep it common factored, so I keep the negative 3 out. Okay, so now that I've done that, I want you to take a look inside that set of brackets. I've got x squared minus 4x. Now, I want to take that, and I want to put it in the form of something uh, I can factor, right? Um, but I want to do a very specific thing that I can factor. I want to turn this into a perfect square trinomial, okay? So a perfect square trinomial that I can factor. And this is how I'm going to do that, okay? Uh, I'm going to take uh, exactly what I have. So y is equal to negative 3 times x squared minus 4x, okay? What I'm going to do is I want you to take a look at that 4, okay? So the, the 4 there and the minus 4x. I don't care that it's negative, right? Uh, I don't bother with the x. I just want to look at that 4, okay? I'm going to take that 4 and I'm going to take half of it, so half of 4. Well, that's 2. So I'm going to add 2, okay? But I'm not just going to add 2. I'm going to add 2 squared. So I'm adding 2 squared. So I took half of that middle number there, and I added that and squared it, okay? So I'm going to do that, and then uh, I put my minus 7 there. Now, of course, we know that you can't just go putting stuff into an equation like that, right? That changes the equation. We don't want to change the equation. We want to keep it the same. Uh, so by putting that 2 squared in where we did, it looks like I added in 4. Now, you need to remember that this negative 3 here, right, that negative 3 is effect affecting everything inside of the brackets, including that plus 2 squared. So I didn't just add in 4. What I really did is I added in 4 times negative 3. Okay, so I just added in negative 12. So I got to rebalance my equation. So how can I rebalance it after having added in negative 12? Well, I can add in positive 12. So I'm going to do that at the end. So I'm going to put plus 12 at the end. Okay, now everything inside of that set of brackets, since I, since I added half of that middle term and then squared that, right, that is now a perfect square trinomial, and that means I can factor it in the way I want. So how is that going to work? Well, I'm going to have y is equal to negative 3, okay? Take my variable, which is x. I take that minus that's in front of that minus 4x there, and that's, that's going to go here. So x minus. Uh, and then I'm going to take that number that we added in before we squared it, specifically 2. So I'm going to have x minus 2, and that whole thing gets squared, okay? So I just factored x squared minus 4x plus, uh, plus 4, basically, right, into x minus 2 squared. And you could actually try that, right? You could, you could try actually factoring x squared minus 4x plus 4 and, and see that you would in fact get x minus 2 times itself or x minus 2 squared okay and then I have minus 7 plus 12 and that simplifies into plus 5 so now this is in vertex form so I just completed the square to put it in the vertex form so now that we have in vertex form we can actually say what the vertex is so remember that the x value of the vertex is the x value that will make the stuff inside this set of brackets equal to 0 and the only way to make that stuff inside the brackets equal to 0 is if x is positive 2, because then I'd have 2 minus 2 inside of my brackets. So my vertex is going to be at positive 2 and 5, which comes from this value here. Okay, guys? So that's completing the square to turn a quadratic equation from standard form into vertex form. Take care.